here we have a 69 plate Land Rover Discovery SD6 Landmark. Now this vehicle comes with the 21 inch gloss black alloy wheels, all in excellent condition. We also have the grey exterior paintwork, LED headlights, we have the Discovery badging across the bonnet and there's a look at that front end. Coming round to the passenger side, you'll find we have the air suspension so the vehicle can raise or lower. It's currently set to the lowest setting. We also have the side steps along the bottom, colour coded door handles, black door mirrors, black trim around the windows with the privacy glass at the rear. We also have the glass roof up top, you can see just there for the front and also the back. We have the shark fan antennae and the rear spoiler. Front and rear parking sensors with a reversing camera. We also have the power operated tailgate, which can open with a press of a button from the remote. Coming back round to the driver's side, you find the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Now if we take a look at the interior, you find we have seven seats inside of here. So this vehicle is a seven seater, we've got the two at the front, three in the middle and the two extra in the boot that you would have seen in the photos. But you can see we do have the full leather seats, we also have both of the outer seats on this metal row are heated, controlled down there. So both the outer seats are heated. There's a look at the roof as well from the inside. We do have the extra handles on the sides just there. Electric windows as well on the doors. Now if we just take a look at the front, you'll find we have the same leather interior. Both the front seats are heated and also electrically adjustable. We have the premium radian sound system, electric mirrors and electric windows. Multifunctional steering wheel, let me just take a seat inside. You'll find the digital screen in the centre of the dashboard. If you put a foot on the brake, press the start button, then the vehicle starts up for us. We've got paddle shifters either side of the steering wheel. Steering wheel is also heated. If you press this button just here, then it will activate. The camera will focus. Automatic wipers here on this stalk, and we do also have the automatic lights just there. And we are free from any warning lights on the digital on the dashboard. We have the main screen here in the centre, plenty of features on here you would have seen on the photos so you can see quickly we have the sat navigation, we've got the media options, phone connectivity, scroll across you'll find the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, scroll across again and you find further features such as the 4x4 information where you can see lots of different off-road information just here so you can flick through the different options just like so. Further down you find the climate control, we've got the r -Score air conditioning just there. We also have the seats where we can turn the heat seats on through the dials. We also have some storage space underneath here. Automatic gearbox if you put it into reverse. You find the reversing camera, put it into park. Again, just like so. Cup holders here in the centre. We even have the different drive modes. So just press onto here. You'll find we have the different drive modes which we can flick through just like so. Put it back onto auto. We then have the hill descent control, we have the air suspension as well just here, so press this button and then it will raise the suspension, press it again and it will go even higher, let's leave it back as it was. Traction control button, auto start start button and the electric handbrake, armrest in the centre as well, you do also have extra armrests for both of the front seats which can fold down just like so. But that's all I am showing you guys today, if you'd like to find out more please check out the website. This vehicle comes with a fresh service, fresh MOT, and free nationwide next to delivery. Thank you for watching. The video test drive of this Land Rover Discovery. Now the purpose of this video test drive is to show the vehicle it drives as you expect it to. As you can see, you might have to fight with the steering wheel to keep it in a straight line, not being off to the left or to the right hand side to stay straight and true. Now we do have the multifunctional steering wheel, which has the paddle shifters either side. So if you want to take the car into manual mode, you can simply tap on the paddles and it will change gear. We then have the lane assist along with the speed and the cruise control buttons on the right hand side. And we do also have the digital screen in the centre of the dashboard, which can show with different bits of information. Now we also have the premium ready and sound system, which really does sound incredible. And if you do this in carefully as well throughout the video test drive, you'll also notice it will be free from any unwanted knocks or bangs. Now we also have many more features on the interior of the vehicle. We've got the panoramic roof up top, looks really nice, especially on these summer days with the blue skies. We also have the full leather seats throughout the vehicle, really comfortable, could easily do two or three. With 400 miles in this vehicle and still get out feeling fresh. Both front seats are also heated, which is perfect for them cold winter mornings, along with the steering wheel being heated as well. 
Now we also have the main screen here at the centre, which is currently shown the sat nav, but also has many more features you would have seen on the photos, for example the DAB radio, Bluetooth phone connectivity, and much more. We also have the draw zone climb control here for the front passengers with the R Squad air conditioning, which is perfect for them hot summer days. And we do have the automatic gearbox as well, which is really smooth throughout all of the gears. Now we are about to take a right hand turn onto the industrial park where we'll perform an emergency stop, put the car into reverse just to show that the brakes and reversing camera work as they should do. So we've got our right indicator on, we're slowing down, waiting for these cars to go past. And then making the right hand turn now onto the industrial park where I will perform an emergency stop in three, two, and one. Hard onto the brakes, put the car then into reverse. We have the reversing camera up here on the screen. Put it back into a drive with no issues whatsoever. Now, if this video hasn't answered all your questions, then please feel free to get in contact with our sales team where they can answer all and answer questions along with running through some inquiries of you. That's all from me today, though. Cheers.